To embrace the shifting of seasons, we are gonna be making this beautiful pattern today, which unbelievably is just a one row repeat. Autumn is my absolute favorite season. Give me all the pumpkin, the apple picking, the plaid, crisp evenings spent around the bonfire with friends. I love it all. And it's a wonderful time to let go of the old and everything that doesn't serve us any longer and usher in all the beautiful new things. And speaking of new, we have a delightful new crochet pattern to share with you today. So a while back, we introduced our beautiful and very popular knit mantle mist pattern. And we had so many requests to create a crochet version. So here you go. Muisca by Janica York Carter is a comfy textured crochet design that makes an amazing layering piece. And you have options with this one. You can leave the front and the sides open like we did, or you can seam them up if you prefer. And I love this so much because it feels like you're wearing a cozy blanket. It is comfy, warm, and versatile. And it's still fairly lightweight since it was made in a sport weight yarn. To make this beautiful pattern, we used our ever popular Lester Sport yarn, which is so soft, it drapes beautifully, it has a gorgeous shimmer, and it is gonna hold up so well to lots of love and use. And I'm gonna be giving away a Sanguine Hue set, which is the kit that we used to make this beautiful red gray version. So keep a watch for that. You can download the pattern at expressionfiberarts.com and while you're there be sure to sign up for email updates for weekly free knit and crochet patterns. To get started making this we're going to start by working one of the front panels. We're going to create this pattern by working half double crochets and altering working them into the front and back loop. Let me show you what I mean. To get started we're going to work some foundation single crochets. So just go ahead and start with a chain two and insert your hook into the first chain you made and pull up a loop. Then go ahead and yarn over and pull through one to create a chain and then yarn over, pull through two to create a single crochet. Then go ahead and turn your little work to the side and insert your hook under both legs of the most recent chain you just made and pull up a loop. And then create another chain with a yarn over, pull through one and create a single crochet with a yarn over, pull through two. And you're just gonna continue repeating that. Turn to the side, insert your hook under both legs of the most recent chain you've just made yarn over, pull up a loop, then create your chain, yarn over, pull through one, and create your single crochet, yarn over, pull through two. And I'm just gonna work six today, because I'm making a small version. You're gonna wanna check the pattern for the number that you need to work for the actual piece. So there's four. And keep these kind of loose, you don't want your stitches to be super tight. Five. And six. Six, and this makes a nice stretchy start to our project. For row two, we're gonna turn and we're gonna start with the chain two, one, two, and you're gonna skip that very first stitch and we're gonna work one half double crochet into the back loop only of that next stitch. So just grab that back loop and work your half double crochet. And then in the next stitch, you're gonna work into the front loop only and work a half double crochet. So just alternate those, half double crochet into the back loop only of the next stitch, half double crochet into the front loop only of that next stitch, and you're gonna go all the way across. When you get to your final stitch on this row, just go ahead and work into both loops. Then you're just gonna repeat that row. So go ahead and chain two, skip the first stitch, work one half double crochet into the back loop only of the next stitch, one half double crochet into the front loop only of the next, one half double crochet into the back loop of the next, one half double crochet into the front loop of the next. And then when you do get all the way across to the end, you're just gonna work your final one into the top of the chain two from the previous row. So here's our little finished front panel. So go ahead and work that same front panel again for the other front panel. Now we're gonna join our two front panels together and work the back. To join our pieces, we're gonna start with a chain two and just do what you've been doing, work that same row. So skip the first stitch and work a half double crochet into the back loop only of the next stitch, half double crochet into the front loop of the next, half double crochet into the back loop of the next, then into the front, Go ahead and work into your chain two. Then you're gonna to wanna to grab your next piece. So here's our other front panel. And we're just gonna continue working across. So you're gonna join where you fastened off before. So we worked back, front, that counts as the back. So then go ahead and work into the front panel, into the front stitch. And then into the back loop of the next stitch. 
and then into the front loop, and you're just repeating across. If you want, you can actually use a stitch marker to hold the pieces together while you're doing this. If that helps, that's up to you. And then finish off making sure that you're working into that chain two at the end. For the back, you're just gonna continue repeating that row until you get the length that you like. And of course, check the pattern for all the details. And there you go, an adorable, wearable design to wrap you in supreme comfort. Have a cozy time making this amazing pattern and be sure to send us pictures. And my hope is that it reminds you that change is a good thing and take comfort as things shift and change in your life because beautiful new things are on their way for you. I appreciate you hanging out with me today and I hope you had fun. I will see you next week with another new pattern. Bye.